My husband thinks I cheated and is saying our baby is biracial. Now we have the paternity test and he has something to tell me. I feel like most people just don't understand genetics. If you're curious how genetics works, Google Drake's baby. I, 24 female, gave birth to my daughter six months ago and it should have been the happiest moment of my life. When my daughter was born, her skin was very dark and it looked like she could have two biological parents who were of African descent. My husband Jim, 26 male, fake name, was furious and accused me of cheating and left right then and there. Wait, is Jim white? Are they both white? It seems that they're both white. Then he told everyone on both sides of the family what happened, made posts on social media, and said he wanted a divorce. So he like sees this baby. Not, he's like, not mine. Nope. Doesn't do any tests. Just immediately runs out. His family and a lot of our friends all called to say how upset they were at me and called me really nasty names. But my mother was on my side the entire time and I kept professing my innocence. Jim refused to pick me up from the hospital, threw my stuff out on the lawn and what? changed my locks. I ended up having to stay with my parents. When my sister called to ask for the baby stuff, Jim texted pictures of the bare nursery room and said that he got rid of everything. He even destroyed my art studio. I liked the paint and he told me my work would be too awful to sell. What a dick. I was distraught and I just tried to focus on my baby. Weeks went by and Jim refused to speak to me directly and never even once asked about the child. Eventually, he agreed to do a paternity test. Finally! After all of this? What do you think? Is I that predict, your guess? I predict it's gonna be positive. He is a hundred percent the father. And knew it. No one could believe the results, so it was done again and again. Jim was proven the dad. Now, around the same time, one of Jim's cousins did one of those ancestry tests, and there was around 30% of African ancestry in the family. Ah. Uh. The ancestry test combined with the paternity test made Jim's paternal great grandmother admitting to having an affair. Oh, shit. So that's where it came from. Since then, Jim has been reaching out to everyone to apologize. And while it did feel good to be vindicated, the damage has been done. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like, no, bro, like you, you, didn't, you didn't even think to believe me. Sad. <laughs> I can't unsee or unhear all of the horrible things that was said and done. Not just to me, but to the child as well. Jim made some very racist remarks. Things that I thought he'd never say, and he did it so easily. Regardless of what our daughter looks looks like I don't want her to be around that. I agree. What else will Jim and his family say or do the next time they get mad? How are they going to treat our daughter when she does something that upsets them? Those are all really valid points. Jim has been begging for forgiveness. I said I needed time and he asked to see the baby and I let him, but I'm too afraid to physically hand her to him. He's repairing the nursery and keeps asking me what I would like. And I cry every time saying that we already had what I liked. And some of the items that we had can't be replaced. <laughs> Like destroyed them. He asked me if I still loved him and I admitted he showed me his worst self and I don't know if I can live with that image. I think he showed you his true self. I don't mean to be hurtful, but it's how I feel. My sister suggested couples therapy, but I- What? Get therapy for yourself. But I don't feel like I should have to work to fix something that I didn't break. I've never cheated and I've been 100% innocent in all of this the whole time. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to give Jim a second chance? So there is a decently big update here. Second chance? No, I don't think so. Not a chance. I mean, you're going to have to have him in your daughter's life in some way. The fact that he just blew up so massively, like without like investigating, mm -hmm. like what, what's the next thing that he's going to blow up at? On to the update. First, my parent who was adopted also did the Ancestry 23 test. And it turns out that Jim isn't the only one who had African ancestry. Makes sense. Makes sense. My parent had at least 45%, which means I had at least 20%. I am legally separate separated from my husband with primary custody and I'm living with my parents until further notice. He still keeps apologizing and wants me to come back to the house. My dad is retired so he does a lot of the babysitting while my mother and I work remotely. I do go to the house every so often so Jim can see his daughter and for couples counseling via telecom. In one of the sessions, Jim confessed to something really hurtful and some of you guessed it right. No. 
He cheated. Oh. Of course he did. It was while we were dating before he proposed and his treatment towards me was a projection. It was an ex-girlfriend who had cheated on him and he hooked up with her as an ego boost. He started to feel guilty but was too scared that I would walk away to ever confess. Jim also admitted that he was scared when I got pregnant, our baby wasn't planned, and was very anxious about being a father but just pretended to be excited because he didn't want to look like an a-hole. The ship is definitely sailed. looked like an a-hole. My husband was so willing to believe that our daughter wasn't his because he thought that he had an out. Now that he knows that our child is his and has spent time with her, Jim regrets everything and just wants his family back and is willing to spend the rest of his life making it up to us. This was all deeply hurtful and I've cried about it more than once. Jim has been lying to me and my ability to trust him hasn't improved at all. When the holidays came around, Jim's parents asked about seeing their grandchild, but I didn't want to. They told me that it was selfish for me to keep her away and I reminded them of their past. They said that they've already apologized and tried to minimize the situation. They said that I can't be angry forever and that I need to learn to forgive them. I'm so ashamed of ever loving and marrying into this family and wonder why I didn't see it before. I've decided to contact a lawyer and will be filing for divorce after my baby's first birthday. Smart. Great story. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually curious if anyone has been in something like this or kind of what you would do if you were yeah. in this scenario. I mean, I don't know. What are your, what are your final thoughts here, Sam? Again, I, I think people can change and people can improve, but it's going to take a long time and just, so he's much. just not showing it. Definitely get the divorce. Mm -hmm. You got to earn back all that trust. Like, really? Every single person. It. Let us know what you think in the comments. We'll see you soon.